welcome to Hawaii. It's time for legs. Grab some weights, a mat, if you have them, some ankle weights, your water, and we are going to get right to it. Please start your fitness tracker. We're going to begin with a sprinter's lunge. So this one, we're going to step one leg forward and we're gonna come down to your knee. Now, please make sure your knee is in line with your ankle and that you're not in this position. All right, rest your chest on your thigh and we're gonna bring this opposite foot up to tap next to this foot and then back down. Tap your knee to the mat each time, down and up, down and up, good. And breathe. We had a nice morning walk this morning after our coffee. Jay and Georgia head back to Vancouver tomorrow. We'll be sad to see them go. But we had an awesome two week vacation together. All right, so you're gonna feel this exercise through your quads and your glutes. Keep going. All right, we're gonna do five more on this side. Five, four, tap your knee to the mat. Three, two, one more. Good work. All right, we're gonna switch over to the other side. So stepping your one leg forward and coming down to your knee, resting your chest on your thigh and make sure your knee is in line with your ankle. All right, here we go. Bend your knees. We're going to do 10 more. 10. Feeling that burn here through your quads. behind your toes, working quads, glutes, hamstrings, all the way down and up. Break for a moment. We have 15 more. Here we go. Back nice and straight. Good, we have 10 more. to the back of our leg hamstrings. You can use barbell, dumbbells, and we're going into deadlifts. We have 25 deadlifts. All right, keeping our back straight. And as we bend forward, weights are nice and close to our shins. And then back up to standing. Good. Feel that pull through your hamstrings. 
Nice job. All the way down and up. Feeling this in your glutes, possibly your lower back. And we have 15 more. We have two more deadlifts. Two. One more. Good. All right, and go ahead and set your weights down. All right, our next exercise, we're going into a stationary lunge. So again, we're gonna step one leg forward and one leg back, and we're bending both knees back nice and straight. Now, if you need to, you can hold on to something to help with balance. And we're going to pulse, pulse, pulse. As you get stronger, you can hold a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Okay, are we ready? All right, shoulders back. Here we go. We're going to do 25 on each leg. Pulse. A little bit deeper. Hold it, hold it. Should be burning. Hold it. 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Switching legs, stepping your opposite leg forward, one leg back, and getting into that uh, position. Both knees are bent and pulse. Burning already. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. All right, keeping your weight, whether it's a dumbbell or a kettlebell, we're going to work inner thighs. This is a wide stance. Toes are turned out. Weighted. Plie. All right, sinking down and up, down and up. Right away, feeling that stretch through your inner thighs. Good. Nice job. Sink a little bit deeper. We have 15 more. And we're going for 10. Press up through your heels. Squeeze your inner thighs at the top. Five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. And good. Go ahead and set your weight down. And we're gonna come down to the mat. If you have an ankle weight, you can go ahead and put it on now. We're gonna do some inner thigh leg lifts. Now mine are pretty light, so I'm gonna use two ankle weights on one ankle. Good, laying on our side. So we're working our bottom leg. So right, uh, right away after you start doing these, you should start to feel your inner thigh muscles. So we're lifting and lowering. Good. 
Riley went home last night. She was visiting. We had a beautiful visit. She's back in yellow knife now. Minus 35, I think. Very chilly. But she's back with her dog, so that's nice. Luna will be happy to see her. Squeeze. If you don't have ankle weights, you could also use a fit boot as an ankle weight. Is your Christmas tree still up or have you taken it down? Ours is still up right now. I think I'll wait till Georgia and Jay head back and then do it, but I won't spend as much time with them right now uh, while they're here. Good, so focus on this inner thigh muscle. Squeeze. It's your dog. again, bum, hams, and inner thighs. Good. Halfway, we have 15 more. Burning, 10 more. 10, 9, We have 10 more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right, grab a drink of water anytime you need it. Come on up. And we're going into 
into a reverse lunge. So we're gonna do 25 on each leg. Ready? All right, and again, if you need to, you can hold on to a wall, table, or chair. Step it back and up. As you get stronger, you can hold on to some dumbbells or a kettlebell. There's 10 on this leg, staying here, we have 15 more. Switching over to the other side, same thing. Here we go, step it back and up. Do you feel this more in your butt or your legs? Right now I'm feeling it more in my butt and hamstrings, I would say. But that could be because we just did our single leg glute bridges. Ten more. into jumping jacks. We have 25 jacks. Ready? Good job. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. Great. Rocket launchers are next. We have 10 rocket launchers. So we're going to sit back into your heels. Pulse for three, two, one, jump. Two, one, three, two, one. Bump nice and low. Three, two, one, jump. Three more. Come on. Three, two, one more, and good, beautiful. Give yourself a round of applause. All right, you have just completed one full round of our leg workout. For a finisher, once you go back to the top and repeat one or two more times, a finisher for this workout is 50 calf raise. So if you have steps or a stair that you can put your toes on, and then you're squeezing your calves. All right, so please make sure to repeat this video one or two more times and then finish off with 50 calf raises. Also, don't forget to stretch and we'll see you back here next time from Hawaii. Have a great day.